today, which is a very exciting day, because we're playing an LPGA Pro app. Yeah, done Donald Link. We're playing with major winner Celine Boutier today. How cool is that? It's a major championship in France for Celine Boutier. Just practicing with the pros, as you do. Everyone else looks like a lot more like they know what they're doing than me, but it's fine. Just rolling my ball around the green. <laughs> Exhibit here. Look at the shots go. Watch loading. I'm using the new G5 today. Because it's a scramble, I'm obviously not going to track. I think it will get confused, so this is just the straight up GPS model. The professional in this group is Celine Boutier, who is on the tee. So. So the situation is I chickened out the protease. <laughs> well, I just feel like I'm never going to hit a shoulder because I'm just going to play from Celine's drive, so I might as well actually have a go from here. See what I can do. Bunker somewhere at 2.15 on the right. Pulls 3.17 from here. Just gained 100 yards. It's definitely a bit more like it. We're miles down, so that's good news for the team. I've gone big on the new clubs today. I have a full set of new irons and a new driver in, which is quite a bold move. Right, one and four to the middle. 96 to the pin. Ooh, bit skinny. Not the best, but it is a green and wreck. I'm not sure it's a very realistic one. <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. I want yeah, the middle in that many putts. Wow. That's my dream. 304, par 4. I think we're so far up the bunkers out in play. Wind hit it was. Well, good. Fairway number two. This driver's getting a good review at the moment. Me and, me and Celine, PXG twin. <laughs> 60 to the middle. So I hit it 240. It's alright. Try to get it on the green. Give myself a putt. 58. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Nothing about that feels good. I still felt like I was going to hit it high. I just didn't trust it. Didn't trust it. No birdie on the birdie counter. Par five. Birdie chance. 460 yards. Gotta keep it down the left because it's just water all the way down the right here. Oh, that's going wet. That's in a stream. Not hit such a left to right shot in it, ever. Anyway, the good news is we can play for a Slane's ball, so it don't matter. This is the situation. <laughs> Maybe I should just get in. It's retrieved. <laughs> At least it's not a lost ball for a birdie, so I'm feeling a bit better about that. Might have a chance. I like this. You can play from someone else's ball when you do something stupid off the team. <laughs> so, can we do that in like all my events? That'd be nice. I thought it was good news I'd miss the trap, but honestly, this is like a tricky pin. Over the bunker, then the slope goes like down and then back up again. And the pin's like right on the back. Go. 
go. Okay, I was disappointed with that, but I basically hit that in the same place as the major champion, so maybe I just need to reevaluate my expectations. Oh, it feels like it goes both ways. It's like a double breaker. Yeah, it's not what I want to know. That felt cruel. I am mentally fragile with the power at the moment. <laughs> this is not helping. I just, I just need to see a ball go in the hole. ASAP. One or two front. One twelve pin. The wind kind of knocked it down rather than helping it. Just made the front edge. My playing partner's nearer, so I get to move nearer the hole, which is nice. <laughs> Oh nice. Why can't I spin it like that on little chips? Oh smell mid champion. <laughs> or even a pro. <laughs> I mean the line was good, I just smashed it. How annoying. Sometimes I think I'd just be better if I walked up and hit it. Yeah. That's one sixty seven downwind. I'm going to hit seven. I'm going to thinned it over the back. That was so rank. I was flushing out the range. Oh god. There's a lot of green to work with. It's still 30 yards to the middle. Alright, we're going 52. Oh, smacked it. I mean, that's not what I intended to do at all, but it's worked out pretty well, so I'll just get the editor to crop the bit out where I said I'm gonna run it up. Everything about this screams I wanna chip and run it. I can't believe there's no applause there. Honestly, these greens are so sloppy. <sighs> Maybe I just need to hit it further away. Maybe it's just short puts out the one. That was an unexpected bonus. Got a birdie on my card. Was not expecting that. The answer is just thin it through the back. Hit it so unrealistically far away you don't think you're gonna hold it and then roll it in. Right, 113 to the middle. 108 to the pin. Straight into the wind. I mean, I drilled the club into the ground, but I definitely didn't drill the ball. <laughs> oh, I take the thin now. I took it all back. How about I just made Celine watch that? Straight up the hill. Green's massively right to left. Oh, I nipped it too good, it didn't take the slow. I've never talked to a snake before. I hit that exactly how I wanted it to, to be honest. It just flew a little too firm. I mean, I'd be delighted with that up and down normally. Hole seven. Had one birdie. Three eleven par four. I think we need to like cut it over the corner here. I mean, I think that's perfect. I don't like to say it, but I think it's perfect. Sixty-eight yards. Fifty-three to the front. Feels like I could easily flag this over the back, which I definitely don't want to do.
disappointing. Took half of Scotland up there with me. You can't come visit Scotland anymore, I've dug it up. But one thing I've taken from playing in Pro-Arms recently is the shark. I'm so good. Let me try emulate that. I've got to chip this in. I've got to get it up this hill. I'm going to fly it to the top and when it releases out and it's left to right then. Oh, too hard. I mean... That was just pathetic. Oh, 288. Be really nice if I hit green and red. I've done that for a while. Entirely sure where that's gone. I set it off down the right edge thinking it'd move. And it didn't. <laughs> and it didn't bounce, but it did kind of go over a hill, so hopefully it's at the bottom of something and it's alright. Right. Just look at all that green you could hit this ball on. Turn. Run out, please. Oh, green and reg. Feels like it's been a long time. <laughs> the sweet sigh of relief. Oh, thank God for that. It does feel pretty straight, but I just feel like the wind's gonna move it. Why am I so good from 30 foot, but I can't hold a 6 footer? Oh, I feel a bit better about the point situation now, I've just got that. Scott, Scott is keeping his spot in the bag for now. Right. God, it feels like it's got really windy. It's only 300 yards, but it feels like about 500 in this. Can we hit like a low bomb? I'm sure I have that in the bag. I actually kind of did. It was good. I just shocked myself. <laughs> Another fairway. Right, 112 to the pin. I think we're adding at least 30. Right, this is my 46 degree distance that I'm going to set my in. I mean, it was the right club, it's just 100 yards left. <laughs> I actually struck it out the middle of the fist, so that's nice. It felt pure as well. These feel so good. When you don't dinner. You know. My long putts have been going quite well today, but I think this might be slightly out of range. <laughs> There's about 50 foot. The wind's going this way, the slope's going this way. Feels like it could end up down there somewhere. Par is my friend though. Oh gosh. I think about like 10 foot left. And it's still like 10 foot right. <laughs> Jesus. That shows you how, one, how slow these greens are, and two, how much the wind's hitting them. I sometimes think that's the hardest thing in the wind, actually controlling your putts. Because at least with a long shot, you can set it off and know it's going to move. This is a par four, isn't it? Nine holes, two under. We need to make three birds on the back. Ten hole, 350 yard par four. If you've seen when I played this with Finch, I completely miss... Just got the target wrong. Didn't take the dog leg on. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. 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 Might have gone through that. Ooh. Did uh, no one tell you driver's not playing this off? No, like you were meant to do that as a host. Oh, <laughs> That's a shame. I must have forgot. I must have slipped my mind. Oh, well. Oh, no, I've done it again. That is a lot. <laughs> that is the last ball. Oh, I was doing so well. Do you know how I ripped that as well? Go for number two. <laughs> 120, like cross but downwind, so. I've Please. 
It's not bad, but I was a little scared of loving it on the back, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Didn't fancy the short side of myself to that back pin. I need to keep remembering par is my friend so like actually get it there. Because I physically can't make a bogey. Imagine if every time you play you just couldn't make a bogey, that'd be nice. It's one and five but straight downwind, but short's dead. Last time I did this it knocked down, it didn't really help though. So I just need to make sure I get enough loft on it, I think. Got the distance to perfection. Pretty happy with that. I'm the nearest. I'm nearer than Torpro. I did tail. So yeah, that's close up. <laughs> Don't mention that. A really weird foot here because it's right to left, but the wind's pushing everything that way. Catch hey. it. <laughs> I'm trying to try to run away. Reset. I mean, why am I hitting it so hard? Yeah. Really to work on my speed control, I mean, how can you hit it? I know it was downhill, but I can't hit it that hard. 300 yards, but it's very downwind. Can we give this a go? I'm saying that really confidently as if I didn't hit my ball in a bush the last time I pulled out driver. That's good. Absolutely striped that. We'll see. See if I can actually uh, do an up and down. <laughs> it's a little fiddly one, isn't it? <laughs> I'm actually not sure I could have done much better than that because struck it not bad. Pitched it pretty much where I wanted to. The wind's just so strong. Up to say, we've got a new pro because we're on the back nine. So now I've got Michelle Thompson, who's actually Scottish. She hits it miles. So I need to actually give this a hit to get past her. And we're 50 yards forward. How is the wind not hitting that? Hit a cut into a right to left wind, which wasn't optimal for distance. I think we're literally level. <laughs> 122. It's hard off the right, but it feels like it has to be a bit into. Eight feels like a lot of club, but nine also feels like it could come up short, so little eight is. The summary is this looks gross. I'm on down slope. And then I've got to get it up, and then the green's running away from me. <laughs> Sorry, right, pause my friend, pause my friend. Oh, so this finishes on the green, I feel like it's a miraculous shot. Nothing about this feels particularly good. Ah, <laughs> oh, it feels like it was so close to being good. I am rapidly running out of holes to make <laughs> I can't wait to turn around and it's downwind because <laughs> this feels long at the moment. It's 400 yards, it is a par 5, but it must be playing at least 500. Hard off the right, I need to aim this up the right and just let it come back in. Come on, wind! So I felt like I hit it where I wanted to, and everyone said good shot, but I'm pretty sure it's just pitched and stuff. Of that rubbish. 195 to the middle. Uphill into the wind. Hope I get enough height on this to get it up. I've never seen a shot like that in my entire life. <laughs> what actually just happened? Just for reference, 
and I hit from here, the flag is over there, the ball went over there somewhere. <laughs> Doesn't look very good in there. It is red stick, so I could take a drop and then I'd have to hold my pitch shot and I can just have a par anyway. I think I'm just going to save some confidence and go to the next team. We're at such a low point here, I'm, I'm not even getting a new ball out. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just getting an old one out and putting a line on it. I can't shell any more TP5s. Feels like cruelty. Right, I've got 115 on the laser. It is downwind but it's just on so I'm just going to hit my 115 club because I don't really want to be short. Go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I thought that was so good. And this one all the way back off the front. How annoying. At least I can play from Michelle's ball. It's the first shot scramble. So I do have a birdie putt, but it's annoying. It's quite pitched. Right, I've had two looks at this, so I should have some sort of idea, shouldn't I? Then I got it to the hole. That's the only thing I can say about that. Maybe I take it back about the sky. Oh, I've gone straight at it. All right, bit, actually. <laughs> that pitch from the slope right at the bunker then. Bing! Straight back in it. All that grass down the left. Here I am in the bunker. 166 pin. Slightly downwind. So I'm gonna hit a seven. Oh god, sit. We're on the green. Just more I can say for the last few holes, so. Oh, strike that. Greeny reg. Also, I can't actually do my birdie thing unless I make a birdie and an eagle, so that's a bit depressing. <laughs> we think it's good. <laughs> well, you know, who knows? Because we'll find out when we get down there. That little white dot right down there, right in the middle of the fairway. Seventy one yards. What isn't that wind doing? It's a straight grass. It's gonna hit a little fifty two because it is it is not the wind for a fifty eight like it's just it's not a good idea. Sixty five front. Oh. I'm saying this is in the range of puts I've held this round. Fringe did slow it down. It did. Five birdies is not alive. So, hole 18. I <laughs> made two birdies. This is a par 5, so could we get to 3? It has been pretty tough going today because it's so windy. So it'll be interesting to see what the team scores are when we get. I think we're about 10 under, not quite the 30 under advantage in Aramco, but it is only two to count in this rather than all four. It's over the trap. 
think it's on short grass, I'm not entirely sure. I thought the one was going to move that far, but I just cut it. That doesn't help. <laughs> Definitely can't go for the green from there. Unless I'm going to hit it through a bush. <laughs> not talk about the ball count. Ooh. That was nice. So I start hit this far right on the course. How would I summarise the day? I played with a major champion, so that feels like a big win. I don't know, I feel like my golf's been not that bad. I feel like I've driven the ball fairly decent. I feel like I play quite decent today, it's just windy. I don't really know, I'm going to have missed a few things. I did straight up fat one that I installed, so that wasn't very good. I've lost quite a few golf balls, but it's been good fun. <laughs> so that's all that matters, right? The course has been in con incredible condition. Big thanks to Visit Scotland for inviting us. It's really interesting to see what the place do <laughs> after being here and playing it in this wind. This looks tasty. Proper, like, couldn't they have touched that pin anymore? Do they know it's Am's playing today? Like, 95, straight into the wind. 105, 115, 125? Pitching wedge? There is nothing for being shot up here. I mean, it's not shot. It wasn't very good. But, it's been high. My wind calculations were good, that's all I can say about that. I'm going to stop thinning it. If I hit that, I've missed. So I might hit it. <laughs> right. It was quite flat and then at the end it goes left to right. Come on. Not bad, I did the line a little bit. Well, don't want my submarines.